that today we pulled some blood sucking giant grape sized ticks off of my friend's snake. Okay, do I take it? Oh, right, I'm, I'm on, pulling it on. out. Oh, she's peeing! Oh my gosh! Oh, she's There's two giant ticks right on this rat snake's neck. So we're gonna pull them off right now in three, two, one. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today we pulled some blood sucking giant grape sized ticks off of my friend's snake. My buddy Landon gave me a call earlier today and said, Jacob, I need you to come over. I just found one of my snakes covered in ticks so I knew I had to give my buddy a hand so I hopped in my car. I went over there and guys you are not gonna believe the size of the ticks that we found now This was nearly a seven foot long yellow rat snake. This was a big snake So it required two people to do this one person had to hold the snake I pulled the ticks off and guys these ticks were literally the size of grapes And that is all I'm gonna tell you guys about today's tick removal video If you want to know how many ticks we pulled off the snake how big they are how the snake is now if he's going to make it Well guys you are in the right place and before we hop into today's video Well, we're gonna actually head to the back to my Galapagos Galapagos tortoises because I too have dealt with ticks on my tortoises many many times I've removed ticks on snakes as well So I want to go see if my tortoises have some ticks because if there's a tick outbreak in the area Well, I definitely want to see if my tortoises got some so let's head over so we've just made it over to my Galapagos tortoises Now these are the world's largest tortoise and I didn't even know this guy was here So this is the Galapagos tortoise habitat you guys have seen it many times. We just redid it and this is my biggest Galapagos tortoise right here. So this girl right here kind of likes to huddle up in this corner. She likes to make herself a little dirt pit. And then when it rains, it fills with water and it makes a little mud wallow. So she'll soak in it to cool down. But how you doing, mama? So what we want to do is we want to look for ticks. The ticks will hang out, not on this hard, scaly front part of their feet, but the ticks are going to hang out right over here by the skin. So I decided to get a carrot right now to see if I can get this girl to stretch out her neck. If we can get her to stretch out her neck, we'll be able to easily see her neck and see if there's any ticks. So we definitely don't see any big ticks, but it also doesn't look like we have any little ones either. So I just distracted her with a carrot up front and I wanna look right up here under her legs. Under the legs is where you also find some ticks, but I'm looking and I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I just did find something. It was so microscopic and I saw it moving. But look at that, you can see there's a tiny micro tick on my hand right now. This little tick was right there under the carapace of the tortoise and I saw it moving. So I put my finger on it and I was able to get him, but look at that. This right here has got to be the tiniest tick that I have ever found. Look at that. This is a small tick. I mean, the ones we found today were like 10 times the size of this one. And we definitely have to move this little guy so he doesn't latch on to the tortoises. And just like that, is how you can get rid of those little guys real quickly. I didn't have any tweezers or alcohol with me because honestly, I didn't think we were gonna find any, but to find one that small was really crazy. I mean, that one you could barely even see. So we're gonna check them out just a little bit more, see if there's anything else here. I'm looking, so basically where I found that tick crawling was right here, that's where I saw them. But if there's one, there's usually more. But again, I'm not seeing any ticks. And even though they're so tiny, they are kind of easy to see in the right lighting, but I'm not seeing any on him. So whenever I find ticks on these guys, I spray a special tick spray on them. And what's really weird is, the Galapagos tortoises are the only ones that get the ticks. The redfoots don't get it. My radiated tortoises, my star tortoises, none of them seem to be affected by the ticks. It's only these guys. And next up is my other Galapagos tortoise who's hiding behind her house. So we did bring her a carrot because we want to see if we can find some ticks. Hi there, pretty girl. Wait, oh, I think I see one, guys. Look at that, you see? Look, right there by the neck. I think I see one right here by the neck. Wait, what, wait, is that one? Nope, that's not one. Here you go, stretch your neck out, come on up. So this is my younger Galapagos tortoise that I've raised from a hatchling. And at just seven years old, this tortoise is just a fraction of the size it'll be. This tortoise, when it's full grown, could be anywhere from 350 to about 500 pounds. And of course we do have to check the back legs. So her back legs are all lifted up right now. So I just wanna get down here right now and I wanna look all here at the back legs. Well, not seeing anything. So we checked both of my Galapagos tortoises and we found one tick, the smallest tick I've ever seen. Now, both tortoises might have some more of those tiny microscopic ticks, but to flip them over and check them out for something that might not even be there, it's kind of stressful. So just as a preventative, if there is those tiny ticks, we're gonna put tick spray on the back of their legs and on their front legs to get rid of them if they're there. All right, come here, pretty tortoise. We're just gonna spray you just a little bit with the tick spray, just like that on there. Then we're gonna come here, right in the corner of the legs. 
and right here on the back, just like that. I'm so glad we were able to treat my Galapagos tortoises and get them tick free. So now that we got to treat the Galapagos tortoises, we're gonna hop into today's video where we remove giant ticks off my friend's snake. All right, everyone, we just got over here to Landon's new house. I've never been here, and he told me to come over to the yard. Landon? Landon? Are you? Are you hello? Roo, 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 roo. We got an attack dog. An oh, attack dog. Is, do we have this. wood? Wait, let me kick the wood out of the way. How do we open this? Oh, you, are we open? I'm new to this house as well. I don't even know what's going on. Maverick. Maverick, where are you going? You're, the attack dog is not really attacking. Nope, he's not really attacking. What's come up, on. bro? How are you? Good. We have not done a video together in a long time. Maverick, I come know. On. And I hear you have a serious tick infestation in your new yard. Guys, we have a huge problem here today, which uh -huh. is why Jacob is here. Yep. Maverick luckily hasn't gotten any ticks yet from being here at the new house. Yeah. Maverick, what are you doing? Maverick, what did you do? So Landon, tell us what's going on with your snakes. Basically, we just moved to uh -huh. this house. It's been a crazy move, yep. moving all these tanks and reptiles oh, and yeah. while cleaning the tanks out. We uh -huh. had to put the snakes into the yard. They got some sun. Usually that's all fine, but with a new property, you don't know what's here in the grass. And clearly we have a problem now. There's two ticks on one of the big rat snakes. Uh -huh. Maverick hasn't gotten any ticks yet though. Are we sure? Maverick? Maverick! Maverick! What are you doing over there, boy? Maverick! Maverick, come here. Come over here. We gotta, we gotta look for some ticks. Come here, buddy. Well, I'm sure he's on a preventative, right? Yes, this purebred good boy is on a oh, preventative. Yes. You're a good boy. I think you're a tick free. You get hard guard with good Let's see. Tick free. Let's, let's check here. And Where Mike, are these ticks? Let's look on his belly. Let's it would see. be it would be so hard to find for, a tick are we for on mites him. In his ears? I think and I think, I think he's tick free. I think he's good. So it definitely seems like you might have a serious tick infestation in your yard. We might need to move. We might need to literally move, but let's head inside and I think we should, let's go, let's go save this snake. Yes. All right, we made it inside. Landon, lead the way. Show us where we're going. Guys, again, this uh -huh. is a mess because we just moved uh -huh. here. Dude, As this is the sickest tank that I've ever seen. Vivarium. The this. animals get good care Dude, here. This has got to be the craziest vivarium that I've ever seen. There's like a water feature. There's little fish in it. Wait, let's focus on them. Look at that. You want to so look on at the this. waterfall? There's a waterfall? Well, we got misters. Okay. Hold on. Let's Put see. It and three, two, one. Oh, dude, that's sick. Dude, that is so cool. So the misters are going to keep all the plants hydrated. That's how it's looking so nice because all the bromeliads are able to retain water. The geckos are getting misted. Gecko or gecko? How many we got in here? Well, there's supposed to be two, but the female's uh -huh. separated now. She's okay. been laying eggs and she hasn't been eating as well because right. of that cycle. Okay. But we don't want to waste much time here. Obviously, we have to where go get she? to that snake. Oh, there goes the waterfall. Wait, where is the waterfall? Oh, this is so cool. So every little corner and crevice, there's like water flowing. This literally looks like, it looks like a slice of the jungle. We basically took a slice of the jungle and we put it into the house. So cool. So let's see what we're feeding today. So we got some delicious super worms. Let's see All here. Right, wait, is this where we're going? Oh, 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 look at it. it, it came out. Wait, oh, oh my, is a day gecko. Will she run out? Look at that, this thing is beautiful. Will she come all the way out? Oh, oh, she just nailed it right there. She's just crushing the super worms. And she looks, she looks like she might have some eggs, but it looks like she's got her little tunnel right there. And that is one happy, healthy gecko. So we made it into Landon's office and he's just getting it set up. So Landon just got all these tanks and we got all kinds of animals here. So what do we got in here? These are all wild caught things from around Miami. This is a native snake here. We just rescued him the other day, but uh -huh. look at this. We've got a ball python caught Let's in see. Miami. Ball pythons are one of the most popular pet snakes and sometimes you'll find them loose in Miami. Same thing with this Beautiful guy over here. Snake. He's a little mean though. He will- You caught this thing? I caught this thing in Miami. Really? Is he mean? Are we sure he's mean? I'm pretty sure he's mean. He looks, he looks really kind of, looks really cute. Look, he's nice and tame and maybe he wants to bite. So guys, again, these are not their setups. They literally just got put in here because he's moving. The idea is that all of these enclosures uh -huh. look like the first one that you saw. Yeah. Misters, plants, everything. So these are just temporary setups. I set yeah. them up this morning. And this guy right here looks pretty angry. This girl is my prized possession here. This is Bertha, the Bufo Toad. Uh -huh. Wow. She is a big lady. Oh my goodness. She actually had some ticks on her that we pulled off. Maybe really? I can send you a picture of that. They were massive. You guys have seen on my channel that my problem. Oh, she's peeing. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's peeing. oh my gosh. It's everywhere. Oh guys, we got to clean up. There's toad pee 
And, oh yeah, that, that's B. So in just a second, we're gonna get started with this snake. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna see if we can find these ticks and remove them. But first, we've gotta get all of our stuff ready. We do have to get all the supplies ready, which oh, is yeah. why we have the operating table. We have the operating table. Yes, we have an operating table. We got our paper towels. We have a little cup for the ticks. And what we wanna do is we wanna put the ticks in alcohol because we don't want these spreading. We don't want them to get loose in the house. And so we're gonna take some rubbing alcohol right here is where we're gonna put those ticks just like that. So we're just gonna fill it up just like that. I think that that should be enough. And that's it, that's all we gotta do. We just gotta get those snakes out. We have our hemostats, which we're gonna use to grab the ticks. Maybe we'll use our fingers, we haven't decided yet. So we got these, so Landon, let's, let's look at these snakes over here. Let's see what we got. I don't even know what's going on. Look at this uh -huh. big shed though. This thing is crazy. This thing must have just shed. You can see kind of the size of the snake before uh -huh. we even look at the snake. Look at this. Okay, do I take it? Oh, all right, I'm, hold I'm on, pulling hold it on. out. I'm, get all the snakes I, off. Oh, dude, this is a giant. Rat snake, look at this. This is nearly a six foot long shed. It's like almost as tall as me. Look at that. That is crazy. It's a perfect snake shed. But yeah, you snake. can't even see him. Yep. So how many are in here? A couple, three, five, one, a we million? Have, we have two Everglades rat snakes uh -huh. in here. I don't even know. Which one is this? This is the girl here. Is she friendly? Yeah, she's super nice. It's All right, pull her out. Come on. Now, does she have a tick on her? We're gonna have to check her. Let's I don't see. know. So these are one of many native snakes that we have here in South Florida. You can find them all throughout the Everglades and even in your backyard. So it seems like she doesn't really, oh, she's musking. She's musking. She's musking all over me. Nastiness. Oh, snakes musk as a natural defense mechanism right now. Ooh. She's musking on us. That is, that is, oh, that, that, is that stuff wakes you up that, in the morning. That definitely will wake you up. So it doesn't look like she has any ticks now. What's up with her the, skin right here I don't, though? Really? Is there some shed, stuck shed? She's got a little bit of stuck shed right there, but that doesn't seem to be an issue. Most people don't keep snakes outside because the ticks and mites can actually get underneath their scales to where they're hidden. Maybe we should put her in one of the other tanks. We should probably clean this one, right? We should put her in this one right here. Okay. You guys can see these tanks are a mess. The glass is all dirty, but yeah. she will be fine in there to quarantine for now. That snake needs to be quarantined because if there's ticks inside of this tank, well, the whole tank needs to be taken apart. So by keeping the female rat snake away from the other snake, she's gonna be tick free because this whole tank has to be taken apart. Everything has to be clean. So I, I'm, I'm guessing he's under there, right? I think he's under there. And Wanna this look? guy is not as nice as that girl. Really? He can actually bite sometimes, but we're let's just see. gonna have to see what he wants to guys, do. Guys, let's see. Three, oh, two, man. one. He's massive. Oh my, look at those ticks. Dude. Dude, guys, do you see those ticks right there? So there's two giant ticks right on this rat snake's neck. You can see them right there. There are literally two of them right next to each other. And then right over here, I just noticed, Landon, there's a third tick here. Oh my there's goodness, a third this tick poor guy. This is right one of there. my favorite snakes. Your finger's about to get tagged. You think? I think he's gonna bite you. Oh. Oh, I oh, think I, I think you're putting yourself in a bad I, spot. I don't, I don't know if I wanna get bit today, so I think maybe you should you should pull him on out right now. Rat snakes are usually pretty tame, but this guy's on edge right now. He's definitely been in some discomfort. He's smelling my hand. He's saying, is that a yeah. fuzzy rat right there? Yeah, I think I think if he was gonna bite you, I think he would have done it. So I think if you just kind of gently pick him up, I think he's gonna be okay, but that's definitely a big snake. Oh this is definitely goodness. a two-man oh, job. Look Dude, at that huge. big tick that's oh, lodged under his skin. My gosh, there's one tick right here, and then there's two more giant ticks right there on his neck. These are the biggest ticks that I've seen on a snake so These far. These are huge, bigger than what I've seen on pythons, and there could even be some small guys. Yeah. Oh you man, really this is them. just a problem. Let's get these things off. We have got to get these ticks removed and get this guy onto the operating table. Oh, yeah. The reason why Jacob is here is because he's obviously a tick wrangler, a tick master, if you will. Yep, I have removed ticks off of Literally every kind of animal you could think of, invasive pythons, king snakes, turtles, tortoises, cane toads, literally every kind of animal you could think of, I've probably pulled a tick off of it. So when Landon called me, I knew I had to come over and give him a hand to remove these blood-sucking monsters. So this is definitely a two-person job here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to hold him down. I look at this one right here, really? mid-body. Okay. So yeah, there's like a medium sized tick right here. So like I was telling you guys before, you don't really want to have these snakes out in the grass. Some people keep their snakes outside, 
but you can see that the tick got right there in between the scale and that's where he's sucking. He couldn't bite through the scale so he got the little soft tissue right in between each scales. He's got his head embedded in and he's sucking that blood and if we left him on there he'd probably get to the size of a grape just like these. I mean look at the size difference. We got a small tick, We've got a medium, and then we've got this extra large fruit gusher Dude, right here. That guy looks tasty. Honestly, we, 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 maybe we should try this thing. I think we should eat it. I think we should. All right, so we're going to remove this first tick right now in three, two, one. We're just going to get it, and the snake's tensing up. Now, we want to get up by the head, and we want to pull. It's a Ooh. common myth. Look at that. He's just He's really latched on. Oh, oh, man. Just like that now. Everyone is always asking me if the tick's head gets stuck. Well, if you actually come right here to this tick and we put him down, you can see that this tick is going to crawl and his head is still there, but he's got these insane little pinchers. Let's see if we can see it. He's got these insane little pinchers right here that if we were to leave him on me, he's going to grab my finger and latch on. All right, so we're going to drop our first tick in right there just like that. We put him in some rubbing alcohol because we don't want these guys to spread to any of the other animals. And now we gotta move to our XL fruit gushers. Now, what I want you guys to do right now is comment down below, which one should we remove first? Should we do the medium sized tick or the fruit gusher? One minute, 37 seconds later. So we decided we're gonna go in order and we're gonna get this medium tick off right now. So we're gonna take our hemostats just like this. We're gonna do the same exact thing. And it's kind of crazy that both of these ticks are right next to each other. And if these ticks were to stay on here, so now because this is right next to his head, we don't want to yank on it too much. We just want to peel the tick off just like that. This is one massive tick. That thing is huge. Dude, this thing is gnarly. So we're going to take him and we're going to put him right in the alcohol like just like that. He's in there. And now we're going to move to the big tick. But guys, if you haven't checked out Landon's channel, it's linked in the description. Go check out his channel. And you can see all the rest of his crazy animals. And now we're going to come here. Oh, he's and looking at you. I think, snake I think I'm going to do this one with my fingers. Oh, man. I think he's just big enough that it's easier. I mean, look at this. You could really see. Oh, snake is tensing that he's, up. The snake's tensing up. All right. So we're going to pull him off right now in three, two, one. Oh, look at this tick. This poor This thing snake. is massive. This thing is like the size of his eyeball. I think it's like even bigger. I mean, look at the tick on top of his head. It's massive. But what I want to see is if there's any other ticks here. We don't want there to be any ticks. Have we checked the rest of his body out? We're going to have to go through all these scales. Yeah, we're going to want to look every inch of his body because normally if you find a couple, there's always more. And our third and final tick is in the alcohol with the rest of his friends. And I am so happy with the way that this rat snake behaved. Honestly, I thought he was going to be going crazy, but he only tried to strike once. And honestly, this has got to be one of the most beautiful Everglades rat snakes that I have ever seen. So we're going to put this guy in quarantine now because we got to clean the rest of his enclosure. And then we're going to pop the ticks. So we're going to take him right now and we're going to slide him right in next to his other friend. And now this is just going to be for quarantine for now until we clean the other exhibit. And in about 45 minutes, he's going to go back in the other enclosure. But just for right now, this is where he's going to go. He's locked. He's safe. So let's go pop some ticks. So we've got our XL Gusher tick right here. I mean, look at this that guy. Is... This is a ginormous tick right here on my hand. So again, we're going to pop this guy right now. I think he might already be popped. So oh, look at this. Man. We're going to come right here and just pop him. Look. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. That was crazy. Look at all that. So we're just going to put him back inside the alcohol and it looks like wash off those. We are. Too. Yeah, it. let's definitely wash these off. Oh. And now that we popped our last tick, well, I think we're tick free. One hour later. We made it back to my property, and well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's snake tick removal. I always have so much fun removing ticks. It's honestly become therapeutic for me, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite part of today's video, and if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me, you want to see more ticks, and you want to see the rest of my animal family, well, guys, all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.